Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can perform active scanning on our network, and we'll be looking at uh, two different tools, uh, Nmap and uh, HPing3. Now, in my previous video, I showed how we can do passive scanning, and we mainly used uh, Wireshark to just watch the packets on the network. But with uh, active scanning, we will be sending probes to the network to either an host that, that we specify or we can send the packets to like a subnet multiple IP addresses on the network trying to find out what devices are on the network and what ports and services are running. Like I said we'll look at a quick example of uh, using Nmap. So Nmap should be pre-installed on Kali Linux so if I open the, the terminal I should find Nmap here and if you do Nmap and press enter it shows you the different options. Let me clear. Same thing as doing nmap and then dash h. Now there's extensive tools or options available with nmap, but I'm just going to be doing a basic scan uh, to kind of scan for hosts on the network. Before I run the scan, let's look briefly at the different options that we have. Uh, let me do nmap dash h and then let's so we have host discovery and the one we'll be using is a basic uh, scan pin scan and we'll be disabling port scan so if you use this dash sn option that's what you'll do you'll scan for host but you won't be scanning for the ports again there's uh, a lot you can do with nmap like scripts and we're not going to be covering that in that in this video we just want to see the basic command and how to run it now in order for us to run the nmap ping scan We'll use the dash sn option. So here's the command that we'll run. So this command can be used for reconnaissance or for host network host discovery on the network. And even a network administrator can use this command to find out what IP addresses are being used on the network. They can run this command as well. So here's the command nmap dash sn. And we can specify a network here so let's say this is our subnet 172.16.1.0/24 so this one is going to scan between 172.16.1.0 ip to 172.16.1.255 so all those ip addresses are going to be scanned so let's go ahead and uh, scan by pressing enter and see if we get anything back and uh, it looks like we got three three different hosts here the dot four, dot thirteen, and one or three. So this command that we ran right here, we ran it as an privileged user, and what it does, it's gonna send a TCP scene packets to port eighty and port four forty three. Now, if we run this same command as a privileged user, so let's rerun the command and rerun the command as a privileged user, and this time we should send ICMP echo request as well as the TCP scene packets to port 443 and port 80. So the command is going to be sudo nmap dash sn. We'll put the IP here. We'll put the subnet and then we'll press enter. I'll give our password. And we now have two more devices that were discovered. We have this dot 10 and dot 11. So we have an HP device that was discovered and a Dell device which are Windows PC devices. So one thing we can do is we can run the command and then do a Wireshark capture to see what's going on in the background. So let me do Wireshark, run Wireshark in the background and then I'll do a capture on Ethernet 0 or it 0 It should be the IP for Kali. So the, the IP for Kali is 172.16.1.13 on it's zero. Let me go ahead and uh, start the capture. And then let me go ahead and rerun that command. The nmap command and we'll stop the capture. Looks like we captured about 5,200 packets. Since we say that it's sending TCP scene packets, let's try and filter based on the source. So address is going to be this one right here. So let's apply this filter and now you can see that it's sending. So you can see uh, for the TCP packets that are coming from the Kali Linux, the 
172.16.1.13, you see this there's a scene flag and then the port is 80. And like I was saying, it's sending a SIN, uh, TCP SIN packets to port 80 and 443. So it sent a packet to dot four and it got a response, SIN app. So this is the TCP handshake. We have a SIN, uh, TCP SIN packet and then a SIN ARC for acknowledging this packet. So that's how it knows that this uh, device is alive on this port. So it's sent another one. So we see one that was sent to the 172.16.1.10, but there's no response. And then another one was sent to 103, and there's a response. So this one is to port 80, and we got a response from 103, which is a SYNAC. So that tells us that this device is running uh, HTTP, same as this one. So the, the 103 is actually another Linux machine, and this is it right here. It's a virtual machine as well. And it's I'm running an Apache server on it. I can do system. Actually, let's just see the IP address. As you can see, it's the 172.16.1.103. And if I do systemctl status uh, Apache 2, you can see that it's uh, active and running. So that's why it's able to send the response. OK, let's go back to the terminal. And let's say we ran one of our previous commands that's got a lot of output like this one. And we just wanted to see the IP addresses only. We can filter out the information and just return the IP addresses. Uh, what we can do is we can rerun the command and then we can pipe this to um, rip. And then we can say we're just interested in, let's say, the lines that have nmap scan. So we can say nmap. And press enter. So this removes one of the extra lines and just returns the lines that have the IP address. And now, if we just wanted to see the IP addresses, we can filter this out using the cut tool. Now we can add cut. Now the delimiter is going to be the spaces between the different fields. These spaces right here. So let's put a space. And then the field. It's going to be the fourth field. So we have field one, two, three, four, five. Actually, it's going to be the fifth field. And that should return just the IP addresses and clean up the output. OK, let's move ahead and uh, see one last nmap command that can be more specific in terms of the ports we want to scan. And then um, if we want to, let's say, disable NEM resolution, that's another option that's available to us. So let's see another command we can run. So we can say nmap. And in this in this case, let's do dash n to disable uh, NEM resolution. And then this is going to be a TCP scan. And then let's put the same device. And then let's say we want to scan just port uh, 22 for SSH, 23, 80, 80, and 443 for HTTPS. Mm, we can press enter. And then we are getting the results telling us that we have SSH is open and uh, HTTP is open for port 80. And here we're getting the results that port 22 for SSH services is open. And port 80 for HTTP services is also open. So that's it for nmap. That's those are the basic that's the basic command. And like I said, you can if you wanted to learn more, there's a, a lot you can do with it. You can go through the manual. You can go to the man page and see what's there. The next command is gonna be the hping3, which we can use to do port scanning. Remote OS, fingerprinting, uh, firewall testing, and it, it supports TCP, UDP, and ICMP ping. Now, let's begin by looking at the options available to us. We can say HP. So this one, just like Nmap, should come pre-installed in Kali. If you do HP 3-H, you can see the different options available to us. For instance, under TCP, we have the different flags that we can set, dash S for scene flag, dash R for reset, F for fin, 
So again, these are just the different flags that can be set when doing a TCP communication. And if we go up, we have different modes such as scan mode. Again, we can just use the scan mode to scan for any hosts or IPs on the network. Now we can look at an example here. This is an example of how you can do, um, how you can run a basic scan command. Uh, if we, for instance, if I copy this and then come to the end here, say paste collection. And if I paste it here and do sudo, you have to run this with the privilege account. And at the end, you'll need to put the target. So let's put the device we were using, the IP we used before. And it's saying command not found. So this one has to be HPN3. And as you can see, it returned two ports, 22 and 80, services, SSH, HTTP, and it shows you the flags. That's how you, you run the command. In this command, you can see here we specified a range of uh, ports to scan, and then we used a comma to skip some and then to add some. Let's run another command. And then this time let's use uh, dash V for verbose and see if it's giving us any output. Let's rerun the command and do a slight modification to it here. Let's say we want to add verbose to it. And as you can see what it's doing here, it's um, scanning starting from port one, two, three, all the way for the different services. So port four is echo, zip for port six. And if you go down there is net start, port 15, port 21 FTP, SSH at port 22, 23 is telnet. So you just keep scanning for 80 HTTP. Okay, so like Nmap, we'll, let's try and use Wireshark to see what's going on behind the scenes. So when you're using these tools, uh, one way to actually understand what's going on is by looking at Wireshark which shows you what kind of packets are being sent and what kind of flags are being set. So this Wireshark will show us what kind of packets are being sent from what source, what destination, ports and the flags that are being set. Let's say for instance, the TCP scene flags and so on. So I'm gonna rerun Wireshark, continue without saving. I'll come back here and I'll rerun that command. Once it's done, I'll go back to Wireshark. I'm gonna stop the capture. The filter is already applied. So let's look at the first one here. It's a SIM packet. So this is a TCP SIM that was sent to 103, another one, and another one. So let's actually look at the, uh, let me expand this a little bit. And let's open this TCP packet. Let's expand this TCP packet. And as we can see here, the source port, destination port is port one. So it was scanning for port one to see if it's open. The next one went to port two, and then the next one, port three, port four. So as you can see, that's how it's sending the packet. So it's sending to every port to try and determine if that port is open. And then this is a response from port one, which is a reset, another reset. So let's see if we have a scene uh, arc, which will indicate an open port. So right here, we see that we have a scene arc, and this it's coming from port the source port, port 80, and this is going back to Kali Linux. So that tells us with the scene arc, we know that that's how it knows that the port is open on port 80. So that's uh, a quick way of how you can use Wireshark to kind, kind of figure out what is actually happening with these tools, what kind of packets, like I said, it's sending, and what flags it's, um, it's setting. Again, this is a quick way for us to discover what devices are on the network using these two tools. So that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope this information has been useful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.